Good morning, y'all. This your boy Tay Wilson. You already know. Welcome to my channel. Shout out to all my supporters, everybody that's subscribed. I want to get straight into it. First off, good morning. Currently, I'm in Pennsylvania. I'm a little tired, y'all. I'm a little tired, but I feel like this video is much needed. And um, I just want to talk, man. I just want to vent a little bit and talk. So if you don't know, if you've been watching me from day one, y'all know I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, uh, West Baltimore, Zone 29 to be exact, right? And um, my city, my city, man, I love my city, man, but it, it's a lot that goes down here, man. And um, something, man, touched my soul over this weekend. And I'm like, you know, hey, I'm building a platform. I just want to bring some awareness to what's going on in my city, bro. And it's like, so over the weekend, man, over the weekend, there was a block party in South Baltimore, uh, Brooklyn, that's like South Baltimore. And um, 30 people shot, man, two people deceased. A 18 year old female deceased and a 20 year old boy deceased. 30 people injured. It's either 30 or 29 or uh, it's, it's it's anywhere. I seen different. I seen different reports. 28 people shot. Tw 29 people shot. 30 shot. Who cares about the exact number? It's in that range, and that and that's that ain't nothing to brag about anyway. I want y'all to watch this clip real quick of that night that just happened over this weekend of this mother coming home to find her daughter deceased. Damn, yo. Oh, my God. Damn, yo. Damn, yo. That's her daughter. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, yo. Could y'all hear the pain in her voice, bro? Can y'all even imagine? I know I, I I don't even wanna imagine or even think about having to deal with something like that, man. It's just like, and it, bro, it's getting worse and worse in my city. I feel like I feel like in the the younger the generation, all the worse is getting in my city. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Thirty people shot, a eighteen year old deceased and a twenty year old deceased, bro. Come on, bro. We got to do better, bro. These kids got to do better. We got to do better. Our city got to do better, bro. Did y'all hear that mother screaming like that? It's crazy, bro. And like I said, the backstory of it is they was at a block. They threw a block party. It was called Brooklyn Day here in Baltimore. That's South Baltimore. That's the projects. You feel me? And it's like, bro, it's, it's sad because back in the day, you know, I'm still young. I just turned 30. You feel me? But... When I was like 19, 20 and all that, bro, we used to can be outside like that in a big ass gathering with a bunch of people and just enjoy and have fun with no issues, no shootings, no killings. You might get a fight here and there, but now it's like it's to the point, bro, the younger these kids are, the, the bigger their guns are, it seems like, you feel me? So, yeah, they was out Brooklyn and... um just a bunch of people it was like hundreds of people out there a bunch of kids and somebody pulled a weapon out i'm not sure what happened but i just want to send my condolences to the family to that mother bro i couldn't imagine i could not imagine so i just want to bring awareness bro what can we do for these kids bro like i seen people uh when it was reported on instagram i'm reading the comments there's thousands of comments people blaming the mayor people bro I feel like it starts at home, in my opinion. And y'all could comment if, if y'all get what I'm saying. I feel like it starts at home. Where's the foundation at home for these kids, bro? Yeah, we all can say, oh, the mayor need to do this. The um, You know, yeah, yeah. These kids, I feel like they do need other resources, but I feel like the foundation starts at home. And I just be thinking like, bro, is it in... I can't be the only parent that care about my my kids' well-being. Like, bro, I'm already schooling my kids, teaching them, just giving them talks about what not to do and just teach. I, I, I try to shelter them from, from all of the BS that you can get sucked up into in Baltimore City. You feel me? I try to keep them sheltered from that. And don't get me wrong. Like, I understand, like, I definitely understand that 
I, us as parents, we can only do so much. Like, we don't know what our kids are going to do out once they leave our front door, right? And like, I take it back to myself, right? When I was when I was young and outside and doing what I'm doing, running the streets. And when I say running the streets, I'm not saying that like I was the biggest gangster criminal. Anybody from the hood, especially Baltimore, you know, yo, you just get sucked up into this. It's like, cause you, you're a product of your environment. You just, you seeing all of this stuff going on every day. You seeing the rest of the kids getting into stuff every day. So it makes it easier for you to get sucked up in that. You know what I mean? So you're a product of your environment. So that's when I say like running the streets when I was doing what I'm doing, right? It was like, my, my my mom and and them they ain't know what I was getting into like they ain't know the crowd I was hanging with once I'm not not I was I was young and I'm not even thinking about you know what I mean what my mom or my dad thinks you feel me so I understand that we as parents we can only do so much these kids they gonna they gonna make the decisions all we can do is try our best to raise them give the best advice we can give and hope that once they leave our doors they make the best decisions that they supposed to make that I, that I will hope my kids to make. So, so back to what I'm trying to say, it's just like, damn, it might have, oh, I know I'm not the only parent that think like this. I know we all from the hood, especially in Baltimore. I know I'm just like, damn, is, is it any foundation in these kids? Like, I feel, I just feel like it starts at home, bro, with the mom, with the dad, whether it's a two parent household or one parent, it gotta start at home you know what i mean and and like i said so that's just got that's what i'm just thinking like i feel like it starts at home and then from there yeah we could get them some resources the mayor um you know rec centers uh sports get some some uh coaches involved like we gotta do something to steer these kids in the right direction and it's sad because like I was just saying, bro, back in the day, we used to can, can have events and stuff and get togethers and, it, and we don't got to worry about now, bro. Even when I be bro, it's to the point now, bro, when I be out, I don't play that, bro. I be I'm not just I don't like coming out the big crowds no more, bro. You feel me? And it said we got to live like that. But when I'm when I'm and then I got anxiety. Right. So like when I'm in Baltimore, bro, when I'm in my city. And I gotta come out to these big, big uh crowded places. I be I just be on edge. I'm I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm my anxiety messing with me. I just feel like a little socially awkward. And that's and I I just feel like it's that's all from what I experienced growing up. It's like and now what I'm seeing now, like, so it just put me on and plus I'm at the age now, I just turned 30. So it's it's not about me being outside and I don't, bro, I don't even like really going to the club. Like, and I do music. Everybody know I rap. Bro, I don't even be big. On, like, if I ain't performing or getting paid, bro, I don't even want to go to the clubs no more, bro. I didn't, I didn't been there, did all that, bro. I didn't, you got, I had my daughter when I was 16. You feel me? So that should just tell you like the type of stuff I was into back then at an early age. So all of this stuff, these younger kids doing, I'd have been there, done that. So it's like now that I, the older I get, the more mature I get, it's like, man, I, I, I want to live. I don't, I don't want to be around certain situations. And, and I just try my best to just stay out the way, bro. I don't really like to do the clubs no more. I don't really like to go out to like with too much bit crowded events and stuff you know what i mean and it's like and i'm just thinking bro like i didn't know and now i'm just sitting here thinking it, it just hit me i wasn't even planning on talking about this in this video like i didn't lost a lot of homeboys like due, due to gun violence you feel me rest in peace reesey rest in peace savage rest in peace my cousin brandon and i can go on and on right but it's just like Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I love my city to death, but what happened over this weekend, bro? 30 people shot, whether it's 28, 29, or 30 people shot, whatever. The number don't matter. The the fact, the point that it's that many people shot and then the two teens that were that were killed. Come on, bro. Baltimore, we gotta do better. And I guess the purpose of this video was more 
just to vent and talk and you know see see if i got any supporters that um you know one that's from my city but you don't have to be from my city bro every every city got hoods every city got violence and we all can relate and i know y'all can so that's why it don't even you don't gotta be from my city in baltimore but if you from baltimore or if you from other cities you know comment below man let's talk let's have a a discussion like what do you all think like when it comes to these younger kids like what can we do to try to steer them in the right direction so basically i'm just saying what made me do this video b to sum it all up the reason i did this video was of course to bring light on what just happened this weekend but um like i said i seen a, a lot of comments blaming the mayor like oh the mayor should be fired the mayor whatever he's he's doing a bad job i get it you feel like the mayor and them should do something more but i'm saying what about the foundation for these kids at home it starts i just firmly believe it starts at home bro what about the parents what are they what are they teaching what are they pouring out into their kids because i feel like kids are going to be a reflection of you bro i, I honestly feel that like and and it's like what are what are the people at home teaching their kids man are they talking to them are they get are they giving them love are they giving them attention are they trying to yeah we live in the hood but are you are you trying to teach them that listen we, you can you can be the future we can yeah we live in the hood but you can be the future to get us out of here to to have a better life than i did that's the type of mindset that i be on you know what i mean and I don't want to make this video too long, man. I, Cause I could definitely, this could turn into a 30, 40 minute video. I'm not going to make it too long. It's just sad what happened this weekend. It's, it's sad about all of the things that we've been through. Oh, and I also got to put in, man, rest in peace, Simba. I don't know how I, uh, I definitely ain't want to forget that, man. My man Simba, he, uh, actually yesterday was, um, a one the one year anniversary anniversary of a <laughs> anniversary of his death and um shout out my man Luke so rest in peace Simba Savage man you know what I mean it's it's just sad bro it's sad what we what you go through in this city like and it, it's to the point bro it, and it's it we shouldn't have to live like this the way we live being paranoid and you can't y'all can ask my girl bro I being my girl ass like I it's just bro I don't. <laughs> But what I'm trying to say is living in Baltimore made me like this. Like I be paranoid. I, I'm always watch. I always watch my surroundings. Like when I'm leaving out, when I'm leaving out to come to work one in the morning, you know, it's dark, bro. I'm looking around before I even get to my car. I'm already looking around. Um, I'm pulling right off. I get in my girl ass when she, um, my girl, like, let's say she, she getting in the house, um, she on her way home from going out or whatever she doing. Yo, my girl would sit outside and just be on her phone and stuff. Like, sitting in the car, be on the phone. I, I get her. I zap on her about that, bro. No, get your ass straight in the house. And it's like, she should she should be able to chill and chill in the car, get some peace of mind. But my, I'm always thinking the extreme. I'm always thinking the extreme. Like, bro, stuff happened. I done seen innocent people get lose their life just by sitting in the car so now it, that just make me now that i'm older i'm i'm trying to teach my kids and my girl and bro we not sitting in no car waiting once we pull up and park at our house get out immediately like you feel me? but but what i'm what i'm saying is we shouldn't have to live like that though you feel me so yeah man i i, I don't know man I, I can go on and on i can go on and on bro i just you know i definitely pray for my city i i I wish, I hope everything, I don't know. I wish it was one way that I can change. I, I know I can't make the change by myself. I can't change the world. I'm not trying to be a preacher. I'm not trying to, you know, because I understand these youngins, man. Like, you got to understand that they are a product of their environment. And I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking for myself. They don't. Like I said, for myself, I wasn't trying to be the biggest gangster or I'm the biggest criminal and I'm the biggest drug dealer. I got into some things I wasn't supposed to get into growing up. I, I got in, you know what I mean? Doing stuff I'm not supposed to do. But what I'm trying to say is 
I really feel like it was the I was just a product of my environment. The people I was hanging around, the stuff I was seeing, the stuff I was growing up around. It just I don't know. It just it'll suck you in. So you got once you understand that. Before we could try to try to guide these kids, you gotta understand that, right? Cause they can look when you when you living in the hood, when you going through this hood shit, bro. It's almost like you don't even know that you're doing wrong because you're so used to what's going on around you. You get what I'm? If you get what I'm trying to say, so you gotta understand that first before you could try to teach and guide these kids. Once you understand that that they this is what they've been growing up around. All right, cool. Now let's get to the foundation of the parents. Let's get to let's get these kids some resources. Let's do what we gotta do. I don't know, bro. I just it's just sad. Pray for my city. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and cut it now. And um, I just want to send my condolences to you know the parents uh that just lost their kids this weekend in Baltimore, man. Like seeing that video is trying. I couldn't even imagine. I don't know what I'd do, bro. So I'm out, man. Um. You know, just pray for my city, pray for Baltimore. I want everybody out there be safe. God bless, man.